I lived a good life. I abandoned my homeland and let it fall into tribal ruin. I invaded France, took Holland, and beat up Italians. I lost an eye, a leg, and a ball in the land of Egdafoli. I stole a Swedish man's wife to replace my own, came home, and died of old age fighting peasants. G'day mates, and welcome back to a game that let me introduce a blessed character to this channel. Hello there! Have you heard the good word? I actually still have the Bible. It's... Right here, it sits on my desk all the time. So once again, the kind folks at Paradox are sponsoring today's video, this time to remote the Northern Lords. But even better, the base game of Crusader Kings 3 is free to play for a whole week if you click the link down in the description below. There's a free update to add dueling, poetry, and a German's worst nightmare, winter. We, however, are going to be looking at the Northern Lords with its special feature, the ability to adventure. Also known as the ability to go beat up French people anywhere in this world without being forced to be a Frenchman yourself. Personally, I prefer my Norseman boneless, but this time we'll be taking Bjorn Ironside. You'll see why in just a moment. Welcome to the cold, cold north. And like every Norseman, I want to leave. Thankfully, in the year of our Lord, 1867, there are many Frenchmen we can pick from to bully. But to start with, we need to get enough prestige to be allowed to leave our home. We start by wasting the entire kingdom's coffers on feasts and hunts. And also ignoring our obligation to invade England. Sorry, but it's a few years too early for there to be Frenchmen in England. The Finnish have taken this moment to try and raid me, and much like the Danish in the south, I'm going to beat them with a stick. Get back across the river, Legolas. One nice thing about being a Norseman is the medieval equivalent of Tinder. Ah yes, swipe right. I am now officially a man. What? The Finnish are back! I was busy trying to do things, you Finnish bastards! It's time to leave. Wow, that was... Really easy, actually. We're gonna start praying to Allure, whose name I'm sure I mispronounced. I'm about to have a pagan historian in the comments tell me why I'm wrong. Oh my god, the god has been reincarnated as my granddaughter. And there we go. We can now get Wanderlust, which is gonna give us an increased diplomatic range, some bonus troops when adventuring, and we can send to the Varengian Guard. Take him to Detroit. No! No, not Detroit! Now it is time to go on our adventure. I think Lothair's a good pick. He's French, he's Catholic, and he's not as strong as his brother. Now here's the best part. Anyone launching their first Varangian adventure gets 2,000 bonus soldiers, except I have Adventurer. Gives us bonus troops above the cap. The first thing I do is pick what I want to invade. We've got a lot of good choices here. Bar, Luxembourg, Holland. I think the correct choice will have to be Holland, however, because we don't intend to stop our adventuring here. Oh no. Would you look at that? 3,000 men just for free. Sure, let's go. Not only that, but these units are great. We have got Varangian veterans, Huskals. We've got some Bondi. We've got some Vigmen, which I don't know what the hell those are. Looks like they're nerds speak for archers. And we're here. Sadly, no Frenchmen have come out yet, but I'm sure they'll be here soon. They're bringing the Italians with them too, it looks like. What in the goddamn? Oh my god, it keeps going. There's more of them. Poor on, poor on. He really, really wants me to take this woman, huh? Uh, well, no Frenchmen have come to fight us yet, so like any good Germanic army, we're staying north of the Rhine. Oh, well, the first people to show up here are the Italians. The Virgin Bowman versus the Chad Vigman. Ah, winter's setting in. The perfect time to fight. Is that a church I see? Viking brain activates. It's good to see the Frenchmen are literally just suiciding themselves into my superior force by now. Oh, and they're gone. Goodbye. I think I just Thanos snapped all French people. Meanwhile, back in my homeland, the Finnish are raiding again. I've solved the Finnish problem by just moving house. Finally, victory is mine. And just in time, because it turns out the Byzantium's at what? I was gonna say it turns out the French got an army, but it turns out no, that the Eastern Romans have decided to come help. Okay. Now here's the fun part about being an adventurer. My Yaldum is just destroyed. I get the trade adventurer and a bunch of other things I get as well, but um, if I do this, then we go look back at our homeland. It's just kind of broken. I'm sure this whole thing isn't just a succession crisis waiting to happen. I love the fact that as king, I just left. I'm just like, no, I don't want to live here anymore. I just left and took a bunch of soldiers with me and never coming home. The kingdom doesn't even exist anymore. Now, we may have significantly less levies than before, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's just disband our armies and relax. And it's time to raise a runestone in Holland. Dedicated to my vanquished foe, King Lothar. We literally just painted a giant rock to say that we beat the French. I like your words, funny magic box. Now I'm gonna heed them. My wife is fucking my son. I'm not even on the boat to go raid yet. And you're banging each other. In my bedroom. In my chambers, on my stolen French bed. Those two better be outside of each other by the time I'm home. 
Aha, I have captured a new wife in my raid. I shall replace my own with this one. Hello family, I'm home and I have brought me a cute redhead. It turns out you do need bones to live after all, as my brother's now dead. I'm gonna build him an ornate sailing ship. Damn, turns out brother's funeral? Really good way to de-stress and just chill out a bit. Oh hey, the woman I stole gave me a child. Um, also I just remembered she was someone's wife, wasn't she? I did just steal a person's wife and take them back to France. Oh god. This is now officially an NTR video. Oh, while helping some allies out, I've lost a leg and become wounded and lost an eye. On the plus side, everyone likes me because I look like Odin now. Damn, turns out the girl I kidnapped is now trying to seduce me. I know we're both Swedish, but you don't need to have Stockholm Syndrome. We fucked in a public toilet. Wait a second, my daughter was caught drawing cocks on the rune stone? Brilliant, I'm going to rob her of $50. I don't know how a three-year-old has 50 gold pieces. I'm finally dead, dead of old age. Here we go. I lived a good life. I abandoned my homeland and let it fall into tribal ruin. I invaded France, took Holland and beat up Italians. I lost an eye, a leg and a ball in the land of Egdafoli. I stole a Swedish man's wife to replace my own, came home and died of old age fighting peasants. I'm not sure how, but I still have a thousand special soldiers. Yeah, it looks like the adventurers do actually just stick around. Interesting. It has been... I think like 20 years, so they're all probably very old and angry now. Oh god, I've just created the Norse version of the Grognards. Wait, I'm one-legged now as well? Oh god, they cut my leg off to fix the gout. Why does this event remind me of Dwarf Fortress? The runes carved into the haft are indecipherable. The actual text of the curse is boiling with restless anger ending on a note that's something of a poorly explained anti-climax. I think it's fake. I'm dead. Immediately dead. So we have some options here. Instead of raiding the place, we can try and trade with them for a nice deal. You know, that's something we could do. And then there's the option. What kind of lily-livered feudal coward makes money without raiding? We pillage the place and refuse to think about trading instead of raiding for the rest of our life. I like that feudal is an insult. My family's real normal. I found out that my wife was writing a letter to someone else that proves that she eats human flesh. Thanks, babe. I think we've all had enough of Holland and it's time to move on, to leave another land without its king. There's many good picks, but unfortunately the furthest we can go is about... Oh boy. Ardlabbard. Nailed it. As much as I do want to adventure to India, it's sadly out of my reach. But I did see something that is in my reach. Varangian adventure against the papacy. All right. Wait, I'm still getting special soldiers. I don't know why, but I can. Goodbye, fair Holland. I, uh, I say I'd miss you, but I really did downgrade by coming here, huh? Yeah. I used to own most of Sweden. And look at it now. Denmark owns it now. Turns out Rome's actually really well defended. It's gonna take ages to break through. Holy shit, the garrison of Rome is 2,100. My god. I actually had to restart the invasion because every time I tried to take a place, the Pope just bought more mercenaries. Turns out the Pope is rich as shit, bro. Oh god. I just had to live, die, and repeat, except instead of D-Day, it's just Norsemen landing in Rome over and over again. So it turns out the Pope is just made of money and he just kept buying mercenaries and they wouldn't stop. I just want to die. But anyway, I just burnt down everything except Rome and then Rome surrendered. That's kind of weird. Damn. All right, I'm going to take this now. According to Norse law, after raiding and looting the Pope's home, I am officially now the new Pope. I guess I could just convert to Catholicism, right? <laughs> I guess I can become Italian. I don't know what's funnier, converting to Catholicism and becoming Italian after invading Italy or just turning Rome Norse. I'm honestly unsure. Well, now that we're done with Sardinia, I'm going to echo the words of Carto the Elder and say that Carthage must be destroyed. Raiding really is like the easiest way to get rich in this game. My god, I'm getting so much money from this. The first raiders of Rome. Now, this is what we refer to as an issue. See, as long as I kill enough of his soldiers that he can't siege Rome, which has 2,300 people garrisoning it, uh, he can just never win. Well, that was cool, I guess. I guess I'm just gonna go chill back in Rome. Well, it'll take a white piece. There we go. I actually successfully defended it. I thought I was gonna die horribly. But that kind of worked. As my dynasty levels up the adventure tree, we can get prestige for successfully seducing people. My guy really is everything. He's a one-legged adventurer pope who's just defeated most of Italy's army, and now he's a poet as well. Sadness in still mornings. When such beautiful countenance is hid from sight, we scream and we wail, no matter our might. When one so great falls so far, 
or lives or plans are left ajar. Well, it's no Beowulf, but it'll do. The funny part about this is with all the raid loot I'm getting, I'm just rebuilding Rome to be great again. I'm gonna start my own Roman Empire purely by raiding all of the Mediterranean. I'm just sad I can't make the Colosseum too. Listen, all right, I need to burn down the Eastern Roman Empire so I can rebuild the Central Roman Empire. I've raided so much, I'm now called the Terror from Rome. I am an actual Viking. Parents silence crying children with a threat that I'll visit. Let me weep his name! Wait a second, the Yom's Vikings want to come down and live in Rome? Yeah, sure, y your request is granted. Damn, their total size is pretty big these days. Also, they're pirates? What? <laughs> what the hell happened to Italy? There's a king next door who I could just invade. We really did just wipe their army pretty much straight out. All right, let's keep capturing up some more territory. And with that, there we go. Enforce demands. Nice. Ah, Latium grows. I think we're going to leave it there for now. That was really good fun. Honestly, like, the adventuring thing is just so strong. Be able to pick, like, anywhere in the world and just be like, yeah, I think I'm just gonna rock up there with 3,000 soldiers that were just given to me. Every man a Montagu. How's home doing, by the way, that place that we just abandoned? Looks like Estonia's taken Finland and Denmark's taken Stockholm. Meanwhile, Lithuania is actually claiming parts of Denmark because Lithuania itself is, uh... Hey, it's, it's doing. Until next time, everyone, thank you all for watching. I've been Remy, and I'm going to say a big thank you to Paradox for sponsoring today's video. If you click on the link down in the description, you can play the base game for free for a whole week and check out the Northern Lords. I'll see you around. And remember the key lesson you should learn today. Whoever wears the Pope's hat becomes the Pope. Why do you think they keep putting him in glass boxes? And so you can't steal the hat, idiot.